Explorer is an orderly arrangement of thousands of identified sequence genes printed on an impermeable support such as glass, silicon sheets, or nylon membrane. It is used to determine whether the genes are on or off. There are four major steps to perform this technique, which are sample preparation and labeling, hybridization, washing, and lastly, image acquisition and data analysis. In sample preparation and labeling, firstly, we need to obtain experimental sample as well as the control sample. Then the researcher denatures the DNA in the samples. The long strands of DNA is cut into smaller and more manageable fragments. The fragment then will be labeled by attaching a fluorescent dye. For example, the experimental DNA is labeled with green dye and the control DNA sample is labeled with red dye. Next major step is hybridization. It is a process where two complementary strands of DNA will be joined to form a double-stranded molecule. Labeled DNA then mixed together and purified to remove contaminants such as primers. After being purified, the mixed labeled DNA is competitively hybridized against denatured PCR product or DNA molecules spotted on the glass slide. Note that each molecule in the labeled DNA will only bind to its appropriate complementary target sequence on the immobilized array. Third major step is washing where right after hybridization, the slides are washed. This is being carried out to remove any labeled DNA that did not hybridize on the array and to increase stringency of the experiment to reduce cross hybridization. The last major step is image acquisition and data analysis. This is carried out to produce an image of the surface of the hybridized array. The slide is dried and placed into a laser scanner to determine how much labor DNA is bound to each target spot. There are some applications in which can be conducted by using microarrays such as gene discovery, disease diagnosis, and drug discovery. In gene discovery, microarray has an essential role in identifying new genes in which is very helpful to the researchers. Based on Govind Dajaran, this application helps us to more understand about their functioning and expression under varying conditions. Another application is disease diagnosis. In this application, microarray helps researchers to deeply understand about different kinds of diseases such as heart disease, mental illness, infectious disease, and cancer. Nowadays, there are plenty of cancer types which have been classified according to the organs where the tumors themselves develop. There is a possibility for the researcher to classify and identify more about types of cancer based on the gene activity in tumor cells with the evolution of microarray technology. This application also gives an enormous contribution to researchers in developing more effective and accurate drugs whereby the treatment strategies will be targeted directly to the specific type of cancer. Comparative Genomic Hybridization In the gene discovery, there is an analysis in which can be conducted by using comparative genomic hybridization. It is a modified in-situ hybridization technique which allows the detection and mapping of DNA. This kind of analysis employs the detection of chromosome copy number changes without cell culturing. This helps researchers in identifying the chromosomal abnormalities. There are some steps in order to conduct the complete process of comparative genomic hybridization analysis which are Firstly, the patient and control DNA need to be labeled with fluorescence dyes and then applied to the microarray. After that, the patient and control DNA will be competing to attach or hybridize to the microarray. Then the microarray scanner will measure the fluorescence signals. Finally, computer software will analyze the data and generate a plot. By doing that, the researchers will get the information eventually. Based on the published work, Array comparative hybridization has been widely used for analyzing DNA copy number variation in diseases like cancer. In this study, the researchers investigate 8 to 2 sporadic samples from 49 breast cancer patients using 1 ME resolution bacteria artificial chromosome CGH array. A number of highly frequent genomic aberrations were discovered, which may act as drivers of tumor progression. Meanwhile, the genomic profile of four normal brace tissue samples were also found to have some genomic aberration that recurred with high frequency in the primary tumors in which may have important implications for clinical therapy. Based on the figure, recurrent genomics abnormalities in 49 primary breast tumor samples revealed by array CDH. Frequencies of genome copy number gains and loss are plotted as a function of genome location with chromosome 1p to the left and chromosomes 22 and x to the right. Vertical line indicates chromosome boundaries and vertical dash lines indicate central mean location greens and red columns indicate frequency of tumor showing copy number increase and decrease respectively. Hello, now we will talk about expressive sequence tag or EST. 
EST is a fragment of mRNA sequence with size about 300 to 700 base pair, which are derived to multiple single sequencing reactions that were performed on randomly selected clones from cDNA libraries that originate from a number of organisms. EST are ideal in the field of discovery of new gene, identify gene transcript, and instrumental in gene determination, and also helpful in distinguish procedural gene from real gene, which cannot be done from genomic sequence alone. In identify gene transcript, the gene of interest can be taken from EST database search in the true nucleic acid sequence or protein sequence. Database can be used to search similar genes simultaneously. How EST technique is conducted? They had been created using four steps which will be explained more in the next slide. First, transcription of genomic DNA. The genomic DNA from an organism is transcribed to generate mRNA then followed by the splicing to synthesize perfect mRNA. The primary transcribe contains two elements which are exon and intron. It will undergo the process of splicing which are intron is eliminated and exon are directly linked together. This will produce mature mRNA that later will undergo two more modifications which are addition of cap at the 5' prime and a third prime end of the mRNA. The second step is the reverse transcription of mRNA to cDNA. The produced mRNA will undergo reverse transcription to produce cDNA that later will be cloned to create cDNA library. The cDNA was synthesized starting with an oligo which hybridized the poly-A sequence of the mRNA and the sequencing of the extremes of the cDNA produced the EST which one from can choose the sequence used as the marker on the chromosome. The third step is the generation of EST itself. There is two types of EST, 5'N and the third prime n which are generated from different cDNA and sequencing. A region of transcribe of the cDNA that from protein generate 5' EST while the N portion of cDNA generate 3' EST. The last is the assemble and organization of EST, starting with the single messenger RNA, in particular because of the presence of secondary structure, incomplete cDNA are often obtained, leading to different tag of 5'N. Those structure EST can be assembled separately in a multi-member sequence assemble, bridge sequence assemble, and in small cluster. This is the diagram of overall EST generation starting from genomic DNA until EST forming. This is an example of identify of gene analysis that can be done using EST. First, the genome was isolated from two types of tissue, the normal one and the infected tissue. Then, the EST are used to identify the genetic variation between those two tissue. Finally, a database was prepared for further reference using BLAST program. The EST are widely and efficiently used to identify the position of the gene and to locate an already known gene in a genome of a species. EST also can be used to find out the gene that are responsible for a disease. This will allow to identify the gene that is responsible for any deformity or disease such as Alzheimer and colon cancer. This will be explained more in the next slide. Why EST sequencing? What EST can tell you, the reason that EST are being used because they are fast and cheap. Almost all steps in the EST are automated. They also represent the most extensive available survey of the transcribed portion of genome, which also can give us indispensable of gene structure prediction, gene discovery, gene mapping by providing experimental evidence for the position of the exon, region coding for potential new protein and characterization of splice variant and alternative polyadenylation. EST are also used to provide marker for genomic mapping by converting them into sequence tagged site. EST mapping to genomic clone will provide a map of expressed gene for each clone and in human, this map can be used to identify candidate for inherited human disease by using pedigree analysis. EST provide an alternative for library screening which short tag can lead to cDNA clone. EST also provide an alternative to full length cDNA sequence Sequencing, which means the sequence of multiple EST can be reconstituted to full length cDNA. Lastly, EST help in single nucleotide polymorphism as NP data mining. This is the list of our references. That's all for this topic. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.